All right, good evening, good evening. Got a hell of a fire going back here. Can you see that thing? Oh, yeah. Got a nice fire going, nice fire. Take your glasses off for people get, the little busters get hateful because they think I might be looking at myself or got some kind of special lighting or something going on down here. Yeah, that's the secret to you little busters. You got to get that fire, get that raw fire burning on you. Yeah, that brings the blood to the surface and makes you bigger, more vascular. You know it better than that, right? They don't. They don't know much of nothing. Hope it's turned down far enough. Christ, YouTube will be busting my balls. All right. So this video, the use of testosterone. All right. Are you flirting with hashtag organ failure life? So the only reason I'm even bringing this up is because um, one of the little haters, man. Gave me an idea for a good video here. Let's see how it does. So, to you little haters out there, the one that I'm talking about came over on Instagram. And yeah, you're a hater. You're a hater, dude. You're a hater. You're, that's a bitch move. Worrying about what another grown man is doing. You know, why not worry about what you're doing? Let him worry about what he's doing. But there's this little hater over on uh, Instagram. And he's, he's the only one I got so far. So now there'll be some little haters see this and come over, and that's fine, because I can rip your ass apart on Instagram. Not allowed to do it anymore on YouTube. I slice and dice you just intellectually, just real cleverly chop you the fuck up. But I can't do it here. Can't do it here, because YouTube automatically, before I can post a comment, it comes up and says to me, you know, this may violate... Uh, they, they've got these different rules and shit now. They're trying to clean it up some. So I'm not, I'm not bucking the system. I'm going along with it. But I guess over on Inst on, on Patreon, I can talk about whatever I want to. I can say whatever I want to. You know, whatever I want to. And there is some shit that's uh, that I think is extremely useful. Can't even mention it on here. There, there's one thing in particular. I can't even mention the name of that pharmaceutical on here. Can't even mention it. Anyway. On my pictures, he'll post, uh, oh, that's the one he posted, hashtag Morgan Failure Life. And then another, I, I mean, I respond to him, you know, and it's kind of funny because you know, he responded, he answered back, he replied back, and he said, I'm just trying to raise the awareness to the kids. Again, we're looking out for the children's. To the, you know who should look out for the children's? Their motherfucking parents looking out for the children's so that they're not, uh, you know, taking these things and going to harm themselves and thinking that it's not going to harm you and all this other horseshit. Listen, if you have a child at home and you're a parent and there's a kid at home and that kid looks like they're on anabolics, maybe they are. And as a parent, I'd be all over that. Now, um, I know that there are parents out there who don't give a fuck. They don't have time to worry about that. They don't realize it's the most fucking important job they're ever going to have. It'll be the most validating and most credible thing they're ever going to do is to raise a child correctly up to be a good person. You know. But this guy, I tried to tell this dude, listen, man, get yourself an education first. And then, you know, start to realize that there are a lot of people out there abusing a lot of fucking shit that even I will, you know, say that second that say, hey, yeah, yeah, absolutely, here, here. But uh, I'm like the worst person to hold up as an example. It's like, dude, I'm 60. When is this going to happen to me? When is all this horrible shit going to happen? I'm fucking 60 years old and look like this. You know how much shit that I can do that dudes not even anywhere near my age can't do it all anymore? You know, I'm fully functional. Everything works like it's supposed to work. And in fact, everything works better than it's supposed to work. You know, but the haters, it just burns their little balls. You know, I mean, every man makes his own way in the world, man. You know, do you, do you get hateful like that when you see somebody driving next to you in a car that you wish you had or whatever? It must be a, a hell of a thing to look at something another man's doing or whatever and just that that would even pop into your head. Anything. You know what I mean? Worry about what you're doing. Do your thing. Be you. That should take up all your time in itself. But I'm like the worst example to hold out there. 
you can find good examples, but me, you know, first, so I decided, you know what, most men, what they're doing, they're replacing testosterone. Okay, now they may be on, I mean, complete, legit, prescribed TRT, which is going to be whatever dose that, you know, I don't know, 100 milligrams every two weeks, every 10 days, maybe, I don't know what, it depends. Some of these, like I told you before, these uh, uh, urologists, the urologists are the ones you want to talk to now. Everybody used to say endocrinologist, and it used to be the case, but not anymore. The urologist is the person you want to go to. If you're having issues and problems and whatever, you're trying to get TRT, urologist. Right now, by and large, not considering outliers, right now, urologists are your best bet for finding the most educated doctor you're going to find on that topic that understands, that really thoroughly understands. So uh, I wanted, I figured that most guys, they're just using testosterone. Just using testosterone and why not? What the fuck, what are you trying to do? You know, you have to be real with yourself. If you're an older guy and you're trying to be the next Dorian Yates, maybe you don't even want to compete, but you just want to be that, you know, or as close as you can come to, then listen, you're already out there. You're in your own world. You're, you're over the line. You know, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. You can just try to be as intelligent about it, and as cautious, you know, and take, take as many precautions as you can to remain in the game, but there's no guarantees. There's never any guarantees anyway, but there's absolutely no guarantees then. But if you're just a regular dude, you know, working class stiff, and you're, you're taking testosterone, and uh, I don't care, maybe you're taking 250 migs a week, right, which people are gonna cry, oh, that's not legit TRT. Listen, listen, you little haters. You don't know what that man's natural levels were when he was feeling the best in his life, when he was at his prime. You don't know what his level was. You know, one man, his normal level could have been 400 at his best. He may have felt great at 400, may have felt great. But this guy over here, this son of a gun, he might have been at 800 or 1100 in his prime back in the day. We're talking older cats. The, the more decades you go back, the higher the levels were naturally. So now you're going to tell that guy, hey, you're only going to have 100 milligrams every 10 days or something? You know, so I, I feel like you know you, whatever it takes. Now, it isn't going to take 500 milligrams, but it could, it could very well take 250, 250, 300 milligrams. It could. It could. I'm going to suspect probably if you're 200 milligrams a week, replacement, you're going to do well with that. But if you're under 500, I'm going to go out on a branch or out on a fucking limb, okay, and say that that, that can be you know, the margin of, of danger there or the margin of uh, the element of risk there isn't really that great. It can be mitigated. If you're mitigating it, if you're taking 500 even, if you're taking I'll tell you what, if you're taking 250 a week and you are not cognizant of the things that you need to be mindful of and the other things on the periphery that you need to monitor and look out for, right? And the prophylactic measures you need to take to stay healthy at that with that testosterone going on, then you could still be in trouble, even at that low dose. You could absolutely get into trouble. Absolutely. I've seen it. I know you could much less more, but I'm thinking if you take the proper measures and you know, you have a well-rounded approach, you don't just think I can just take testosterone, I'm going to feel much better and I don't have to worry about anything else, you're wrong. If you take the testosterone and then you look at this and you watch that and you do this and maybe you take various food supplements or foods in your diet and monitor different aspects of your health and you should be able to be pretty safe. You should, you should be able to go up to that amount. And, and, and I'm not advising you to do that. I'm not advising you to do that. I'm not your fucking doctor. I'm giving you, you know, information, talking points, a launch, launching pad, right? 
for you to do your research and make up your mind because who's going to be responsible for you? You are. And as an older man, we know this by now, for God's sake. We're not part of this generation. We already know this. We've already known and accepted it by now. You know, you got your scars and I got mine. And how we got them and whatever else, I don't know, based on various decisions and life experiences. Some we brought on ourselves, some we fell into, stumbled into, whatever. Is what it is. It's, the, it's, it's just, it was part of our fucking progression that delivered us to where the hell we are today. But uh, things you need to be mindful of. If you're only using a test, and if you're trying to be safe and you're an older guy, you don't need to use anything else. Now, if you're super impatient and have unrealistic expectations, and you've been taking this shit four or five months, and you don't look like a fucking pro bodybuilder yet, well, I'm awful sorry for that. But if you want to look like a pro bodybuilder, then you're going to have to step across the line probably. I'm talking to guys that, you know, you see, you don't know what your limitations are. You don't know what you're going to be able to do. You don't know. And if you walk into it with that, I'm going to be better. I'm going to feel better. I'm going to be able to do more. If you, if you walk in like that, then there's no downside. There's no disappointments. And you have to watch these other things. So mainly if you're only using tests, and you're, you're not going above 500 megs a week. You can even do what you want to do. Take a gram. I don't give a shit. It's, it's, that's you. It's not like I've never been there. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm going to say that if you if you don't go over 500, the only things you need to look for is test is going to, you know, that can go wrong is you've you got to watch blood pressure. you got to watch blood pressure and you got to watch hematocrit. Everything, those are the wellsprings all the other problems come from. Blood pressure and hematocrit. Blood pressure... Coupled with high protein, blood pressure by itself can wipe out kidneys. It definitely wears the fuck out of your kidneys. Untreated. It absolutely does. And you don't have to take tests for that. There's so many men in our country that have high blood pressure and they don't fucking even take care of it. They know it and just put it on back burner because they feel okay. You know what I mean? High blood pressure wipes out kidneys. Simple as that. You know, if you throw into there a bodybuilding oriented diet that's higher in protein than otherwise, then that that exacerbates the problem. That exacerbates the problem. So you have to control, you have to monitor and control the blood pressure. All right? So you also need to watch hematocrit. The blood gets too thick. All right? Think of it as this. You got a straw. All right? You're trying to, to blow through a straw. All right? If I pack something in the end of the straw, even if it's just a piece of mesh, now it's restricted somewhat, it's harder for me to blow through that straw, right? It takes more for me to blow through that straw, more pressure to blow through that straw. To get more pressure in, to get how much out? Backside, same amount as if it was clear, would take far less pressure in, that's your heart. Blood's thicker, that's your heart working harder. Okay, so two things, main apple jacks you gotta watch out for, main mama jamas are blood pressure, and a uh, hematocrit level, keep the blood from getting too thick. That can be easily managed, easily managed. Now, if you're already on a bunch of other drugs because you've got these problems, maybe you should start to rectify these issues first. But let's say you don't have these problems, which most older guys have some of these problems already anyway. And these measures will work for you too. But I wouldn't throw test in the mix until you had everything else well in hand, well in hand. Now, me personally, you know, I got friends on blood thinners and, you know, all kind of fucking shit. High blood pressure shit and all, and that's, that's not a good idea. It's not a good idea unless it's a must. But how do you know if it's a must? If you haven't done your motherfucking due diligence and research and found natural remedies and tried it to see if it'll work. So what am I talking about natural remedies? I wrote some down so I don't miss any. Let me put my cheaters on, put my eyeballs on here so I can see. Oh, I don't look too small. I was looking small, but I couldn't see without the glasses on. Yeah, I think I'm looking at myself all the time. I am now. If I ain't got these on, I, 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 I see nothing but a blur in there. All right, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar with the mother, two tablespoons, twice a day. Now, if you try some of this, you don't just try it and then say, oh, this is fucking my stomach up. That fucking vest fucking caused me this problem. You're responsible for you, okay? 
I can have two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar twice a day. It doesn't give me any problems, but I also take um, digestive enzymes and I take a probiotic, a really good probiotic, Blue Biotics, my favorite probiotic. So I'm already, you know, I'm already on top of all these things without considering the addition of fucking outside, you know, uh, additional interferences or, or factors such as testosterone. All right, apple cider vinegar, twice a day, two tablespoons at a time. Um, people are going to say, with your, with your meal, before your meal, after your meal, whatever the fuck. I just, I don't care. I just take it twice a day. Uh, it helps to regulate blood sugar, helps regulate blood pressure, lowers bad cholesterol, raises good cholesterol, potentially helps to break down plaque because of the additional acidity of the blood because of that, and it seems to lower hematocrit. You know, that's why they consider it like a blood thinner. It has a blood thinning effect, anticoagulant. It actually has a blood thinning effect because what it does is lower hematocrit, and I know for a fact it does do that. Now, is it going to do that in every single person on the face of the planet? Every single person the same? No. So I don't know. But we're all the same animal, we're the same type of creature, right? So same species, it works for me, works for a lot of people. You'll have to try it yourself. Two times a day, two tablespoons might be too much for you. If it gives you stomach problems, if it causes any of these other things, you know, and you can't be on blood pressure medicine doing this. You can't be on blood thinners doing this because you'll have a problem because this stuff will fucking will will amplify those effects um donate blood donate blood regularly you're doing a good thing it's going to help other people donate blood don't have to be anything fancy or particular you're already doing this other thing the apple cider vinegar take your baby aspirin every day donate blood regularly man you're, you're pretty golden you're pretty golden i'm going to say that if you do those things and stay fucking hydrated lots of water stay hydrated and the only other thing is your omega-3s. Take your fish oil, take your omega-3s. I take two a day, omega-3s. It's gonna help you out, it'll make you feel better in a lot of regards, but it also helps to thin your blood out and, and that's gonna help you with the somaticrit bullshit. So, you know, watch it and monitor it. You should have the ability to take your own blood pressure. You should be checking your blood pressure. You know, you should check it daily when you first implement any of these things and see how much of what you need and how many things you don't have to do at all or whatever, right? Very simple. How long does it take for you to check your blood pressure? You get a little automatic machine. They're accurate enough. Check your blood pressure. Once you think you have it down, you've got your system down, your scheduling down with whatever you're using, you know, your, your uh, prophylactics, then just check it once a week or whatever. Make sure everything's cool. Simple as that. Simple as that. That's how to survive. That's how to take testosterone and survive. It's not the testosterone that fucking wipes people out. It's they don't take care of themselves in all the other regards. These fucking people don't take care of themselves without adding in additional testosterone. So why would it be a surprise that when you add in any other, any other drug or hormone that now you got even more of a problem. You know what I'm saying? If you had a problem before, don't think you're going to take that. It's going to fix these problems. It's going to help you feel better. It's going to fix some problems, but deal with that shit. Deal with that shit, and you should be golden. You will have nothing to fear. Like I said, these people we see dropping dead and all this crap, that's not because they took testosterone. That's because either they took an insane amount, they didn't watch the blood got too thick, clotted, they had a blood clot, got to their heart, got to their lungs. You had fucking aneurysm, a stroke, high blood pressure, um, blood sugar off the charts. Every man should know what his blood sugar is. Every man should know what his blood pressure is. It's part of the responsibility of owning a fucking body if you want it to last. Stop taking better care of your fucking car than you do yourself. It's not that hard once you get into it. If you're too lazy to do these things, don't take testosterone. Don't even take TRT because you're already an unhealthy motherfucker and all the drugs that you're already on because you won't fix these things naturally or you haven't tried. You know, maybe the drugs are legit and you really need them, but I doubt it. I doubt it. If you're fat, you're obese, you're overweight, it's a problem, be honest with yourself. Do something about it. Get your fat ass on a treadmill. Improve your cardiovascular performance. If you do these things, you will be healthy. 
into old age, and you will be able, you can take testosterone, and it isn't, you're not fucking compromising your health, you're improving your health. But all these things go with it. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. This light's been flashing for out. How long would you tell me something? I hope it recorded a whole fucking video. We'll see. My luck, it didn't. Wouldn't that suck? I'll catch you again later. Have an awesome evening.